in early 2021, there was an idea that high top will need a kind of beta weed pump. Yeah? And we had some first discussions, some first meetings with some other people. We talked about requirements for this pump. We talked about our competitors. And then the next idea was, oh, hey, we have the vector pump at the moment. This is our smart pump that we provide to our customers. And we need a successor. Maybe we could combine these two ideas. Rather than just pull something together, um, we decided that we wanted to figure out what the market really wanted. So we went out and we talked to customers, we talked to our sales team, we uh, made a proof of concept pump and took it out to some job sites and let people try it out. There was just a lot of good feedback and, and, um, and just that collaboration. We learned what people liked and what they didn't like and therefore when we were doing the design part of the pump, we could enhance the things that they liked and we could eliminate the things that they don't like and just make an overall more superior pump than anything we had made before. As you look at our competitors and see what they have done already, our pump is nothing like theirs. Um, our pump is high performing, it's faster, it gets the job done. We are in an innovative company and if we are building a battery driven pump, we are not looking for or something which, which you can use sometime. Yeah, so we, we are creating something which the customer can use every day. This will we, we really change the market. The high torque standard was the goal all along. We didn't want to necessarily jump the gun and just come out with a battery pump. We wanted to do it our way. So when we are developing a pump, uh, we do several tests. So we are starting with endurance tests for all the components for the whole pump. We not only did the typical endurance testing, we also did several other things. We, for example, we tested the pump under certain temperature conditions. So we are using our climatic cabinet that we have here available. We are also using our rain tester. So we are putting the pump in pouring rain to see that it is working also in, in the real life, yeah? because the, the life is not a laboratory. So our customers are typically somewhere in the middle of nowhere and we have to create something which, is, which has to work under all these circumstances. Portability is a big thing. Um, people are trying to simplify their work sites and uh, eliminate things like tripping hazards. Having a battery pump, you can eliminate extension cords and generators and things like that. You can just show up at the pump and you can go bolting, get your work done. Being cord free um, in the world of hydraulic pumps is definitely important, especially when it comes to places that um, may have variable generation of power. You don't want to rely on something that's not stable, right? Well, also places that are just remote. It will give the customer uh, independence and the performance what he needs for his day-to-day -day work. The smart pump is pretty easy to use, so it's, it's like your cell phone. It's absolutely intuitive and that everyone can use it just from the scratch out of the box. The Leap comes with this because now, instead of having all your controls on a remote, you have it on a touch screen. If you can use a smartphone, you can navigate to the screen of the, the Lightning Smart Pump. Everybody today is, uh, is really used to work with a touch screen that's self-explaining. Typically, nobody needs a real training for that. We are really proud of this product and all this development what the team has created. Uh, so we, we have built several field test pumps. The pump has been extensively tested all over in the world. Uh, we get very positive feedback from our distributors and also from the customers which were able to use prototypes already in advance. So, so we are looking really forward on the launch of this product. I think what excites me the most is that there was a lot of people who were involved with this who put a lot of effort into it 
and we did overcome a lot of challenges for it. And it's been amazing to see the evolution from the early proof of concept all the way through what they've finally come out with. And I think that customers are gonna get excited because it's gonna solve that mobility problem, the generator problem. It's going to be easily adaptable. They're gonna be able to just buy this and go to work with it. And it's not gonna be a long learning curve. There's nothing like what we're about to bring out, what we're about to introduce when it comes to hydraulic voltage.